Greetings, Face Barmy the Third here. Fox Expert, Retired Theorist, Shrine Maid. So this video is split into two. The first part is a goof highlight of me playing through the Dane's Leaf story quest, where I goof and share some of my first reactions as I play. The last part is more of my summary, thoughts on what it means for my theories as well as other people's theories. So I'll make sure to put chapters so you can go to the part that most interests you, or you could just click off the video. I advise you to do that. Exo! Right, we just got into 1.3. Let's see what we got to do today. Wait. What's this? Dane's leaf? Brokeeper? Catherine of Monsat Adventures Girls seem to have something to tell you. I guess we'll go see Catherine. Catherine. Instant transmission. Go. Oh. Ow. Hello, lady. What you got to say? Please, over here. Okay. More companions would be nice, please. Give me uh, Rosaria and Hu Tao. And I would also like uh, Kamisato Ayaka. I would also like uh, Yai Sakura. And I would like um, Raiden May and I can't remember any of us, but that would do for now. <laughs> Look at Lumin's face, she's like, just shut the hell up. Just shut your little pie hole. It's my brother. It must be my brother. Has she? Could it be? The uh, Aifa being Dainsley theory has been completely debunked by Catherine here. Take that, bitches. Some people to Gaia san no kanke wa wakarimasen go. Kyokai no sasoi o kotowatta koto dake wa tashika desu. I can't say that I know anything about a relationship between him and Kaya. Are they like directly referencing my video? <laughs> It's like face palm we saw you made that video and you made like a uh, just like a relation between those two characters. So we're gonna like explicitly point it out in the dialogue just to say, yo bro, there's no connection. <laughs> What are you going to do, Topknot? He'd just own you if you tried to like stop him. He'd just own you. Okay. 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 I need to find a stranger with an eye patch. Ooh, was he making? Oh, that's right. Was he making the Okay. Maybe he's trying to make a time machine. Time gang confirmed. Where is he? I'm scared. Where's the blonde boy? I don't want apple cider or grape juice. I want apple juice and grape cider, please. A man who wears an eye patch. His name is Daniel's Life. What a absolute savage. I love this guy's mustache. Look at that mustache. That's a mustache of a of a real man, of a five-star banner character. You and Pyroman start to wait on the second floor. 
Oh, there he is. Oh, he looks pretty cool, actually. Oh my god, look at him. Oh, he's got, he hasn't got an eye patch. His eyes exposed. There you go, there's Dane's Leaf. Just chilling with his... They said eye patch, that's not really an eye patch, is it? It's like a mask. So his eyes not even covered up. And his, like, eyes both look the same. So why the hell does Kaya cover up his eye? That's what I want to know. He's ignoring me. Just smack him off the back of the head. I'm looking for my last relative. Look at this edge lord. Take the mask off, man. You look stupid. Oh man, his Japanese voice is sick. Ooh. I thought his English voice was good, but man, he's got some ruggedness in that voice. I'm kind of jealous. Sit down over there. <laughs> well, I'm going to say my best chum because the emergency food joke is just dead in the water at this point. I wish I hadn't said it now. Dain's Leafo. That's how you correctly pronounce it. Dain's Leafo. Not Dain's Life. Uh, I'm not paying you, dude. 500 more. That's kind of cheap, to be honest. This guy's pretty cheap. Like the crisis monster face was resolved by an alliance between yourself and that animo archon. I assume he's talking about the um the violin one, right? I'm going to go with the middle of the road answer. He doesn't seem impressed. I'm going to go with the middle of the road one, which is everyone in Liu in Liwe. You were Put my teeth back in. Liwa Harbor. この世界には神の目を持つ者と神の目を持たない者がいる。Yes. Does Leaf have a vision? I don't think he does, does he? それが貴様の答えか。Middle of the road all the way, baby. He's talking about my brother. I'm talking about my brother. He wishes to oppose the abyss. So the power from beyond isn't of the abyss. It's of something else. i the An abyss herald. What's an abyss herald then? Twisted abyss being. Ooh, something above the abyss mage. Yep. Kick the butts. Yeah, because we kicked their butts. Yeah, because we kicked their butts. Why are you afraid? We kicked their butts. They may be... Ooh, okay. I'll defeat them. Yeah, we're super duper strong. Okay. <laughs> so Dane's Leaf does not have a vision, right? He's got that weird arm going on. Dane's Leaf does not have a vision. Take note. No vision. He has the power from beyond, which does not require a vision. So the possibility that the power from beyond 
is some form of other element um, is a possibility, but it doesn't require a vision. Beat the hell out of this guy. Give me your money. What you got? You got no money. Give me that meat. Compensation for that guy having no money. They could at least have gave us a new dungeon to go through, man. Just going through the same dungeon again. What's with all the, um, wolf hawks everywhere? Could you tell me more about the Abyss Order? Abyss. The Abyss. The Abyss. こんなんであり破滅である。歪みに狂った混沌と世界を蝕む元凶。アビスの怪物の目的はただ一つ。それは神々が支配する世界を覆す。He doesn't align with them. He doesn't like the abyss order. At least that's the vibe I'm getting, right? So he's not interested in overthrowing the Archons, because surely if his uh, allegiance aligned with the Abyss, he'd want that to happen. That's because I am the Abyss, Paimon. And then all like tentacles shoot out of him, and then he just eats her. We can dream, right? Yeah, so I was gonna say that there was all those like wolf hooks everywhere, so maybe that's what he's thinking as well. I'm a detective. He's got a weird fire with like abyssal runes on it. This, this guy's sketchy as hell, man. Boreas. Is the Wolf King going to tie more into the story than I originally thought? That's what I want to know. <sighs> Paimon, you're so useless. He basically has taken what Dainsleaf told you and just gone, Yes, I can also see that this one does the same. Stop looking. Stop looking. Stop looking. Okay, Captain Obvious. What am I gonna have for my dinner tonight? That flying child looks tasty. I've been told she's emergency food, but... I might just eat her anyway. Because I'm hungry. Well, I should probably stop wearing this stupid mask. Because it's completely pointless. It just covers a small portion of my face. Which is absolutely pointless. I mean, it would make sense if it covered my eye, because then that would mean it has a purpose to cover my eye, but both my eyes are the same, so... <sighs> That's kind of lame, isn't it? Nothing exciting about my eye. What a waste of time. I mean, maybe I should have watched some videos from the community first and then decided to cover my eye to make them, you know, have more theories about my eye, but no, my eyes on show. It's just a complete waste of time. Waste of everybody's time. It's this stupid puny mask. Every now and again I wish I was a girl. I don't know why. I just like the idea of being a girl. Do you never think about that? I think about it all the time. This fire's kinda warm. Just keeping my toes warm while I wait for that stupid girl to come back. I wonder when she's gonna come back. Been waiting about 20 minutes now. Just staring. Staring at this fire. どうやらアビスの人ですらボレアスに歯向かうつもりはないらしい。Why?ここを離れよう。あの追い惚れ狼が唯一誇れるものはこの領地に対する信念だけだからな。Okay. But why? <laughs> Uh, probably. That's usually what we do. Yeah. Right, let's go there then. Okay, Storm Terror's Lair. 
So I've been stood here waiting for that girl to show up. But she still hasn't. I'm just stood here on this bridge catching the breeze. Why am I wasting my time doing this? Just want to go back home and watch an isekai. Why can't I get hit by a truck and wake up in another universe where I don't have to wait for stupid kids? Hello, Mr. Dainsleaf. I've made it on time, I hope. I hope you weren't waiting long. If my memory serves, this rune has largely nothing to do with a dragon for a long time, except for when you go in the middle of it, and then you go in and then you have to fight a big dragon. But okay. The first time I laid my eyes upon the old, on the ruins of my old Mondstadt, the dragon of the east had yet to fall. Which let's come to nest in this place. So is the dragon of the east, um, da um, the Varlin? Uh, the four winds used to, uh, used to be worshipped by the people of Mondstadt. Each of the four winds, excluding the dragon of the east, which I, I... What is the dragon of the east there? Oh, it is the Varlin. But the dragon of the east is a title, not necessarily the thing. Right? So different dragon could have that title so it's not necessarily Dvalin I'm confused I am confusion I hope you enjoy my mindless rambling oh look at him worshipping him let's kill them all do you feel lucky Huh, bonk. Okay, he didn't die. Do you feel lucky now, huh, bonk? Okay, there we go. We did it. Yeah, it's quite the shame. Zanlentoyunoaskoshichigu. Um, so, crackpot theory here, um, the reason we didn't come across it is because Mihoyo haven't made it yet. Um, they're still working on it, and it wasn't ready for the quest. <laughs> I simply have experience from adventuring together with that travelling companion. So, he's talking about the prince, or the princess, I assume. He sigh. No longer travels. I'm afraid that traveling can be too exhausting at times. What? I sense something familiar on that cliff. You know what this is? Okay, so in the, uh, the trailer, um, we we will be reunited. I can't ever say it properly. We will be reunited. That trailer, uh, they fight on this podium, and at the top of the cliff, um, Lumin or Aoife, depending on which character you choose, uh, looks down, and then they get on the uh, rune garden and walk off. So maybe that's what this moment supposed to be I think it's that cliff there or is it no no it's this place because there's like a little walkway and then they walk off down here into the distance at the end of the trailer I'll splice it in or something so you can see what the hell I'm talking about not now we will meet at this journey's end once the dust has settled, then you will understand. Kisama ga itte ita kehai, mada kanji toreru ka. It's nearby. Demo, koko wa hito mo mamono mo inai zo. 
確かに何の異常もない俺が以前来た時と何も変わっていない前に旅をしていた時旅仲間に連れられてここに来た時は My me here on our えー、じゃあさダインが旅してきた中で一番好きな場所はどこだ俺か俺は覚えていないあの旅ではただその旅仲間の付き添いをしていただけだからな I could feel him. What? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's t h a では。しばしの別れだ心配するなきっとまた会える五百モラと三つの返事を受け取っているからな So to close the video I'm gonna give some of my thoughts on this story quest I probably won't cover everything but I'll try and do my best First of all the voice acting is cool as hell The Japanese voice is way more enigmatic than the English. I must say, it's pretty damn good. Dane's Leaf himself, he's pretty cool. He's got a pretty cool visual design. He looks pretty damn cool in game, so I like that. I noticed he has no vision, yet he still has powers. At least if we go by the trailer, he still has powers, which again is pretty interesting. We learnt that he opposes the Abyss, so the idea that his power. Originates from the abyss seems to be debunked, meaning his power is from some other source, which is pretty interesting as well. I think the future A for theory is kind of debunked a bit here. Downsley says how the other sibling you don't pick was essentially leading their journey together, like he was following them. It's most likely the other sibling because the pronoun change is based on who you've picked, so obviously, if you pick Aoife, he says she, and if you pick Lumen, he. You could argue that in the case you pick Aoife, you are following Lumen around trying to look for her. But in the case you pick Lumen, Dainsleaf would actually have to be gender swapped for any of this to make sense. So I think just in that context of that choice, it, makes, it no longer makes sense. And I just don't buy the、uh, future Aoife thing. I could be wrong, but I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> Dainsleaf also seems to speak about the Varling quite a bit. Like, he has a lot of knowledge of Monster and a lot of the. Like, he's been to Monster a few times. It's also cool that we visit the Wolf of the North area, which could mean that it's going to tie more into the story. Whereas before it seemed like it was kind of just a side thing, now it seems like maybe this is a more important part of the story.、Uh, which is actually interesting because a lot of the stuff I have been looking into does mention the walls and a lot of stuff there, so. It's probably stuff I'll cover in the future, but that again, that's pretty cool. I mentioned in my video about the blonde hair Diane carries, and I think the likelihood that the blonde hair belongs to the other twin now is much more viable. Pretty much because how he says he was essentially following them, so maybe something happened on that journey between those characters. And that is essentially like his penitence, he is out to try and stop whatever mistake he made on that journey with. 
prince or princess, whichever you've picked, he's out on, on a journey to kind of uh, make amends for the mistakes he made during that journey because he's opposed to the abyss while the other twin is basically leading the abyss at this point. So I will say I'm a little disappointed with this because they're basically telling us that um, the literal interpretation of that trailer, the most obvious interpretation of that trailer is the interpretation and it removes a lot of the mystery and fun from that trailer and a lot of the meaning as well. Mihoyo has essentially set a precedent here which is basically we're going to canonize our trailers which is fine because at least now we know going forward but it also ruins a lot of the fun and excitement because looking deeper into their wording if it conforms to like their established canon then you just take it literally. No antics here, nothing special, nothing special to see here. I also think by doing this you've removed a bunch of meaning from their trailers. The writing becomes less proficient to me and it become, it kind of gives into that Arkham Razor. The more obvious answer is basically what we've got. Instead of cleverly using Arkham's Razor to basically push his audience into like the, the obvious answer, then sidelining them with something that feels um, like it came from left field. But the reality is the signs are all laid out there. The seeds were planted and then when you go back to review the story you go oh how did I not see that that's so obvious now which to me separates like what a good twist is from a bad one but uh, instead we get the the Arkham's Razor solution which is here you go here's the most obvious thing basically take exactly what we say word for word it's really easy to interpret these words F you. <laughs> We interrupt this public broadcast to bring you face palmy from the future. Okay, let me clarify something here. I've gone as far to say to some that I think the canonization of the trailer makes it bad writing. Often people don't really get what I'm trying to get at. Bad is probably the wrong term for what I actually mean. I think thoughtless is probably a better word. The issue I take with the use of the flowers in the trailer is they're almost meaningless. The sole purpose is to draw a line between Dainsleaf and Lumen but only in the context of the trailer. There's a principle in writing known as Chekhov's gun. The idea is anything you mention in the story has to have significance to the plot somehow, otherwise it's just pointless noise. It should come into play, otherwise you should just remove it. You could argue that you mention things for flavor. For example, the villain likes to drink orange juice, but that helps build character. And I don't think you can even make the argument here with like the flowers. They only make a big deal about the flowers because they've canonized that trailer. If you make the opposite canon and produce that trailer, and let's say for argument's sake, Aoife loves orange juice instead of flowers, have them stand in a swimming pool filled with orange juice, then throw in a voice line at the end saying, and I will always remember how he too loved this juice. I hope my analogy outlines the absurdity of it and why I find it thought is it bad writing? No. But is it good writing? Definitely not. Its purpose is a cheap way to draw a line between Dainsleaf and the Traveller through Force Cannon, and the flower will never hold significance in the plot of the game, which let's be honest, is a plot that matters to the majority of people. Like I said in my original video, why even mention them at all? The reality is, the flowers are pointless noise. Am I mad about it? You bet your ass I'm mad! Okay, I'm not. But I can probably guarantee now the flowers will never get mentioned in the game's plot because they're irrelevant and it means Mihoyo are willing to fill their trailers with fluff to make it easier for themselves. And I'll be brutally honest, that is a damn shame. And it makes you question how much of the other stuff in there is just there for the illusion of depth and doesn't actually mean anything. Now back to the original broadcast. So as a result, I am retiring as a theorist from this game as it is no longer fun. Goodbye, theory tube. Goodbye. It's okay anyway, my last theory video I was working on got stolen by a fox anyway. I've sent my army of dogs out to find it while I work on other stuff. Is it tasteless to make a fox hunting joke? I don't know, <laughs> maybe it is. I am English though, so it's perfectly fine, right? <laughs>